Hi, my name is Daniel Butler and I'm the president of Men's Football and I'm here to talk about my campaign for increased sports funding. The aim of the campaign was to generate as much money as possible to be invested back into the sports clubs around the university. When I took over at the start of the year, I realised that for my members there was a lack of provision and inadequate um, resources available. For me, it was very important that this was solved and when I spoke to other clubs around the university, there was a common problem and it's something that needed to be addressed. The reason why I wanted to do this campaign was because it had a very personal motive for me. Um, I've been at the university leading up to three years now and sport is the most important thing to me. It gives you a sense of involvement and belonging and is something that I have not found in other places during my university experience. So for me to hear that people weren't able to actually participate in sport due to the increasing costs, it was quite a scary thought. And it is something that I wanted to try and minimise to open up as many opportunities as possible in sport for those who come to this university. So I wanted to make my campaign as inclusive as possible. So therefore my campaign actually affected every sports club at this university and they all had the, the same opportunity to get on board and be active. Um, Overall, around 1,500 students are incorporated into our athletic union and they all have received a benefit from this campaign, which for me was extremely important in offering an, an, a diverse and equal campaign, which would effectively change everybody's participation experience. So I raised my concern at the start of the year to the student union about the lack of re available resources and finances. And I was given a process of how to escalate my issue and concern to, to the university. It was started through a formatted letter, which I shared with all of the AU clubs around 52, um, who were all active. And the majority signed the, the letter and it was then forwarded on to the university. And since then I've attended various meetings uh, to address uh, my concerns and finding a certain process which would fit all and provide an outcome which was desired. After various discussions and meetings, the result of the campaign came back just after Christmas. Um, we received an offer of £40,000, which was split into two parts. One part being solely for transport because of the increased cost of travelling through books games, which we found to be important uh, as we, we wanted to carry on continuing competing and representing our university. And the second part was through resources and equipment um, which was seen through teams receiving new kits and vital protective equipment which was important to guarantee safety for people whilst they were participating. I still believe that the campaign has um, a course to follow. Uh, it should not just stop after this year and is something that needs continuous development as times always change, so does the increase in the cost, and especially in a cost of living crisis, it is very important that it is not just stopped here, and there needs to be continued investment within to sport to offer the opportunity for all. I would like to thank um, all of the AU club's involvement this year, as without their support, uh, I doubt this campaign would have had the same impact it, it currently has had. Um, so for that, there's been people that have supported me along my journey, whether that's replying to my messages or offering their help in form of signing documents or attending meetings with me. And for that, I'm very grateful as my voice was definitely amplified by having those around me. When I originally started the campaign, I did not realise the severity of the issue that was raised. After speaking to other, other clubs, I found that there was actually larger problems uh, that hadn't been spoken about in previous years. Some, some clubs didn't have a full kit, which meant that they were having to change on the sidelines during books games, which made us look very unprofessional and at times was quite embarrassing for a lot of students. And for me, being able to address an issue and concern that could effectively remove someone's participation from sport, that was very meaningful and powerful for me to do so. So by, by going to university and asking for a problem to be solved. It also shows that they do listen to the student voice and if it's delegated and also promoted in the right way, they'll do as much possible to support 
your your kind of ambitions and aims during your university experience. One of the, the main positives that I found from being involved so heavily in the campaign was how it's brought the AU together. Before, in the past, we felt very separated and isolated away from other teams and clubs. And this year, I really think it's brought us all together. By having the same purpose, we've effectively made friendships for life. And we all have, now have the same common goal of how we can improve our sport by being invested into this campaign, which has offered more opportunities than we would have had at the start of the year. And for me, that is something that's so important to see, not only just in my own club, but in all the other clubs here at the university. Um, so yes, the campaign has uh, benefited the AU very positively and will continue to benefit the AU positively. Um, as touched on before, it's allowed for vital uh, safety equipment across uh, a, lot of, a lot of clubs um, and it has allowed us to get more buses for, for away days and it, it brings our club together a lot more without having to worry about all the money. Uh, it's also set our club up uh, very well in the future uh, going ahead and will continue.